Ciao! Ragazzi! Why are you doing the clan? just landed in Italy, Pisa, but because we've landed in Italy, I bought my reversible Italian jacket, it's all about fashion there, you need daddy. So uh, I'm going to wear the Italian way now, ah, a bit of that, look like I'm going to the moon and that, but yeah, I hope you all appreciate this as much as I do when I bought it, this is a selling point. Anyway, ciao! Ragazzi! I mean, ciao guys in Italian. Does it sound better than before? That's the main thing. Yeah. That's all right. Then we're laughing. Here he is, right? Arrivo. Right here we are. We're um, we're at my guest's house now. So let's go say hello. I hope he's in. Ciao Steve, he's a doping, controllo, Con controlling dopage, Italian style. <laughs> All right, mate. Ciao, Steve. <laughs> Good morning, mate. How are you doing? I'm all right, mate. How are you? Right. Nice to see you, brother. How are you? Good, how are you? I'm all right, mate. Should have a coffee? Have a coffee. And then what are you doing? I got. I brought you a Brompton, so I could thought we'd go to Florence. Do you want to do it? Let's do it. Let's, Let's do, do it. it. Wicked. Coffee first. Oh, fucking hell. What? Oh. Steve, really? Where are we going? Why are we doing the climb? I didn't like doing climbs when I was riding. I was had to walk. I shouldn't have worn this jacket. Are you taking the piss? I put on 10 kilos, Steve, and you're asking me if it was that bad. I was never that good anyway. I dropped him. We'll just wait for Al, mate. There he is. Go on, Al. It's hot, isn't it? Are these from the US, are they from? No, nah, England, aren't they? Oh, like born and bred. Well famous, these are. You've got special edition. Put him now. Hey, up. He is carrying 15 kilos of wood. I know Andy's cameras as well, not just the weight. You keep going mate, you crack on. <laughs> <laughs> We're about halfway now. <laughs> Come put this in your case. <laughs> Oh. Hey. 
Oh. Just reading up this hill, it is kind of worth it. Steve, why did we come up this bloody hill? <laughs> Well, normally we nice. walk. Normally you can walk up through the rose garden, but there's steps, so we couldn't take the Brom Bromptons on the steps, so we had to do the steep hill. But otherwise, and you could have gone the long way round. But I wanted to see Al. <laughs> I don't, the main thing is I wanted Al to see Al going up the hill is, on his on his bike. I'll show you bike. <laughs> it is funny. Look, I like to ride on one of these things. <laughs> it's got one gear. Very nice. Available for all. <laughs> but yeah, the main reason we came up was to watch you suffer. <laughs> and he was carrying his 15 kilograms of. <laughs> I'm it with it. <laughs> Poor guy. It's nice though. Yeah. Do yeah. you like it, mate? Are you appreciative? Yeah, I love the view. Good. Here in Florence. Yeah. No, it's a cracking day. It's quite warm. It's a lot warmer than it has been. Bloody well up. I've had my jacket on sweating. I know. I should already. be on my bike really, not messing around, mincing around You've here. You've retired. You. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know, but it's nice to keep going. It's mental that I still can't get my head around that building. Which What's one? It called? Which the one? Duomo. The Duomo, yeah. Duomo. Yeah. I probably don't I need say to learn that. Some more Italian. It's a church. We'll call it the church. This is the big church. Yeah. With the paintings. <laughs> Although it's not painted. Ciao ragazzi. Mm -hmm. E-bike, that's what you need and me to be fair. I was suffering quite a lot. Right then, should we go and get some lunch? Where's well, this panino shop? Yeah, I'm not. I'd have to check my phone. I'm not. I don't stress. So sure. Do you think it's all just old watch shops? Stuff. Oh, bonjour. Uh, due Fiorenza, anche un'altra senza tartufo. Anche senza insalata. Yeah, he's allora, tartufo, solo pres. Tartufo flaffle in Italia. Sì. We're getting three Fiorenza. Una, una, una. Florent. Crudo pecorino. Sì. Grazie, mille, thank you. I'll do a translation for him. Did right. you order a drink? What do you want? I'll have sparkling water. What do you want, mate? Yeah, I'm not getting that after. What are you having? Do you have a sparkling water? And a Chianti, maybe. It's Italy, isn't it? What do Italians drink at dinner? Lunch. Uh, everything. Negroni. <laughs> not, not, not lunch, maybe. Maybe that's a bit. I have six Jager bombs. <laughs> Isn't it weird here, when you think about it, like you've got that there, and you've got Stone Island there, and H&M there. Oh. I bet when it was built they didn't think they'd have a H&M 100 metres from like one of the world's most famous churches. Nice though. I came here not long after uh, after I'd retired at like two in the morning for a walk around. <laughs> what? It's all lit up. It's amazing at night. What did you come here at two in the morning for though? You're not in bed. Well, I, was at, I came. I came about. We left my house about half eleven. I think we watched football with my friend, and then we came for a drink. This looks like a dance move that he's doing. Look. Who? Oh. But do you not reckon? I reckon. Cause I've just said this to Steve, but you can chip in, Al, as well. Is it the door on these, on all old buildings, look, that's a big door, there's a massive door down there, that ain't got a door, got big arches though, is that all the people, and if you look at all the statues, they're all massive, you know, like, that's a massive guy, he's not normal size, he's massive, I reckon back in the day, humans were this big, they were a lot bigger than what we are now, that's why all the arches are big, because be. mouses don't build a door that big, do they, they don't need it, but he obviously does. <laughs> And they're all naked, weirdly, which we've discovered our photographer strangely loves. He keeps <laughs> filming them all. I know, yeah. What are you filming them all? I'm meant to be filming us, not the bloody willies. <laughs> We're not going to this hard rock cafe, are we? <laughs> no, there's a bar here, or we can go on the rooftop bar up there, you see? It's got to be this, because that was... No, no, not first. Eventually, not first. This one first. So undo this. Then, all the way. Oh yeah, all the way. That's it, that'll do. Till it's like, yep. Yeah. And then bring this round. Oh no, wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Oh, kick this under. Like that. Oh wait, pull, wait, pull that back. <laughs> pull that under there. That's it. And then lift the wheel. 
onto like up and down. That's it, now drop it all down, that's it. Then undo this one. No, wait, you're not finished yet. Undo the bar. That will drop down into place. Let go of the bar. Let go of the bar. Let go, it's all right, let it drop. You have to click that into there, look. And then seat down. Oh, that might. That's it, seat down. Pedal over. This is a difficult one to do. Took a lot of years of mastering. And that's it. Did you do these in carbon? <laughs> <laughs> it's good though, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So what's next, mate? You told me you're doing a, a degree or something. Yeah, I started a degree last September, so I've done a year. Um, what yeah. did you want to do it for? Why do you want to do it? Uh, I, I don't know, I wanted to go to university to sort of, I think like in, in the cycling, you know, you learn a lot of life lessons. Yeah. And I just think those some of those lessons may be transferable. And I just wanted to challenge myself, keep learning and um, try and like draw on those experiences I've had to transfer them across to like different different things in, in life maybe business or maybe um, within cycling but obviously I'm not a rider anymore so you've got to be a member of staff but just just to keep learning as well really that's good mate well thank you anyway it's been a nice day in Florence I've loved it sat in a rooftop bar now should we dinner I want to go to that place where we went to my birthday lovely let's go tiramisu <laughs> Lemoncello, a little bit of wine, maybe. <laughs> Let's Grazie. Go. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> vamos, uh, vamos. Vamos a la playa. Oh, oh. <laughs> Cavallino. Cavallino Rosso. Cavallino Rosso. So we're here now in Cavallino Rosso. Is it in Corata or not? Or just on the outside? Yeah, Corata. Corata. Um, we always used to come in here, which you'll hear about shortly, when we were near the area or we were training here. Um, one of our favorite, well, one of my favorite restaurants. I said my birthday here when I was 28, I think I was 28. Not really, not. I don't remember this last time. <laughs> remember the last year? It was my birthday. No, it wasn't. Yeah, it was. Last time I was here, it was my birthday. I think. Maybe with Cav we were here. I can't remember. We have good time. I've, only, I've only got drunk in here. I've never come out sober. <laughs> the worrying thing is... No, I've not all been at race. When were we on my birthday? It was the world, wasn't it? Was it, yeah. I can't remember why I was here. I can't remember. Well, it's training mean, for worlds, wasn't it? Worlds. We were training because that was when I stayed at Cavs and he was in a mood for three weeks. Ten days. Yeah. So last time I was in here. What was, he in, what was he in the mood about? You what? What, what was he in the mood about? <laughs> He's just sick, wasn't he? He was sick and in a oh. mood about. Was it before Qatar? That was? Yeah. Oh. Was that your birthday? Yeah. We had a big tin of my soup. I thought you meant Florence was. Well, right. You were here then though, weren't you? That's when G was here, wasn't it? And G got really drunk. We went to Bar Grazia after, and he was trying to go to Florence with Luke. And um, it's like a 40 minute cab ride. Threw me and Brad were having a domestic, so that neither of them came to the dinner. Yeah, that was it, yeah. Cell <laughs> <laughs> right. Very good. Oh, should we get some wine? I'll, what wine do you drink? Do you drink red? We're eating meat, we need red. I'll practice my Italian. Ciao. Ciao, Matteo. Um, I'll let you do it, mate. I don't know what I'm ordering. Possible fai una bistecca per tre con uh, patati, uh, fagioli, uh, spinaci, spinaci e fagioli. Rap, 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 sì. Sì. Anche una bottiglia di 
vino grande il, 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 il sasso il sasso acqua Gas, gasata is that right? no. is it gasato or frizzante yeah? lo stesso it's the same oh. uh, fresca you want fresh or normal temperature fresca fresca Va bene così. Oh, do you want anything special? What's that? Do you want anything special? No. Did you order veg to start? Oh, anche una pinzamonio per lui. Lui vuole una pinzamonio. Grazie mille. Prego. It's basically the same that I have every time I come here. I'll eat bread. Santa, Santa Ramita, did he take the pink jersey? He was close to take the pink jersey, wasn't he? He didn't take it, but he's close. He went on that climb, didn't he, in all the rain? And Cadell wasn't happy because he was beating him on GC. That was because he was in BMC, though, wasn't he, the year before? But wasn't he employed by Cadell, or not? Oh, I don't know. So in this Giro, can you remember going back for these things? Yeah, fuck's sake, the whole fucking peloton was in one line. Oh. And I went back to get his gloves. No, I went back to get them first. So he asked me, and I went back to get him, brought him to him, but on the way back, I couldn't get back to him. And I said to you, Steve, can you please take these? So I did a capacity effort to get to it. <laughs> Paul Peloton was in one line, and then um, when I got there, he said, you've got the red ones. <laughs> I want the blue ones. <laughs> I was like, oh, alright. <laughs> so you went back, didn't I you? I went back, and on the way back, I dropped one of his gloves. <laughs> which was okay at the time, so I went back, got his gloves. And then the next day, he was freaking out because he, someone had lost his glove, but I never owned up to that. Oh. I remember, this was a snowy day. Was it the snowy day, that? Yeah. They cut the, did they cut the stage? Yeah. They cut about three days out of that gym. Because <laughs> of the weather. Thank God. <laughs> I reckon we must have spent about a grand on We always went down to dinner before and ordered dinner off the menu because it was too late. Yeah, yeah. Well, oh, we just ate there, yeah. We could though, wasn't it? It's almost like you're on a different schedule. Like, there's the GC riders and then there's the Gruppetto. And the Gruppetto is always like 40 minutes or an hour late. And we were always in that group, so they... <coughs> Always happy though. Well, Cadelli never, yeah, we were always happy. Always Cadell never ate after the stage, did he? He had this thing, he never ate after the stage. So he'd wait really late and he'd have all his treatment and blah, blah, blah. And he'd come to dinner like 10 p.m. <laughs> That's what he did, yeah, I never really noticed it. He's just dead late, yeah, all the time. But we, I think we wouldn't eat after the stage and just go straight to dinner, maybe. That's what we remember. did, yeah. Or maybe we'd eat twice, I don't know. <laughs> I remember us eating a lot, we ate a lot together. But only me and him. Yeah, yeah, we ate a lot too. We were the morale and the heartbeat of the team. Well, Taylor, that, Taylor got off because of his saddle sore. Uh, he went home, yeah, because he was with us otherwise. Yeah. It's when we started in Napoli. We started in Napoli, yeah. We ate, like. I got there dead lean and then Nicky sent Oss, a load. Daniel Oss was there as well, wasn't he, I think? Yeah. Do you remember we ate dead I got dead lean before it, and then you brought along, Nicky brought along loads of biscotti. I don't think it was that, I think it was the... We, had, we were in um, Napoli and we had... No, 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 we were in Napoli. <laughs> and it was like the best mozzarella, so... <laughs> so we'd have... Uh, Breakfast, what do you want to have a mozzarella? <laughs> yeah, we'd have a mozzarella, mozzarella. The Giro hadn't even started, we had like 15 mozzarella. Oh, good though, wasn't it? It was good. It was good. This and cannellini. I ate a lot of cannellini this trip. Cannellini or... Cannelloni. Can is it? Cannelloni. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think it he, he means cannoli, cannoli, cannoli. It's cannoli. like a, like a fried biscuit and, and yeah, that's it. Yeah, ricotta, mascarpone. I think ricotta. I Somewhat know. healthy with sugar and it's yeah. yeah. Wow, well, these are good old days, Steve. I've been a bit ambitious with my veg. Eh? Been a bit ambitious with my veg. <laughs> You'd be alright. Do you want a bit? Do you want a bit? Yeah. Oh, I don't worry, I can do it on the, in the car. This? You're getting this, I want to talk about a wine. No, but you know when, if you go out your house and go right, keep rolling along that valley, and then go up there, is it there? That's it. Carmignano. 
How many are there? So I don't know anything about wine. All I know is I'd like to taste the wine from the places I ride. And then I say, oh yeah, it's nice. So, You're almost oh. hammered living here. <laughs> <laughs> Bloody Chianti country, lad. Like. <laughs> no wonder you retired. <laughs> There's a lot to taste. There's a lot to taste. <laughs> well, that's Chris, the wine. Eccolo, here comes the steak. Imagine if I did that. <laughs> I'd be ten no, times this, away. This is like the classic. This is a Carmignano, it's right by my house. I remember doing this climb way up. Oh. Jesus Christ. Right, forget about the chat, mate. Have a look at that. I don't think I'll need the lemon. <laughs> Gets to a point, doesn't it, when with me, I was just thinking then, do you reckon you could nail that on your own or not? Yeah. Yeah. Fuck yeah. yeah. I reckon I could as well. <laughs> I'll just tag a post for my vegan audience. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> this is the best bit though, isn't it? It's on a bit. Hi. Oh, fuck man. Yeah. It's good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I hope this loads. It's a belter of a video. Is it a video this? Yeah, he goes down Where, down, 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 down. where is this? Denya. <laughs> <laughs> stupid Denya on that crap training camp. Oh man. De Denya was like prison camp for me. <laughs> yeah, so we're not, well, it was for everyone, wasn't it? Everyone hate. They're still there, oh, you know. CCC. Oh, no. So we were on training camp. We used to go to this place called Denya and it was not a bad place, was it? But it's not a good place. You did the worst. Oh mate, it was a golf resort in the middle of nowhere. It's <laughs> terrible. <laughs> the hotel was nice though, but they plunk you like in the middle of nowhere. So you'd be left in the middle of nowhere, wouldn't you? So it's like you had like nothing to do. Yeah, nothing <laughs> drink. But it was like half January, half February, like half December. December was the problem. Oh god, it was just. So in December we used to have. You arrive at this training camp, there'd be nothing to do. And our team, Andy Reese, he's dead now, God rest his soul. But when he was the owner of it, he didn't like stop drink, did he? <laughs> so he'd like enforce a bit of drink, it's quite nice. And then every night we'd come down, and you had your own chair, didn't you? At the bar. <laughs> She'd come down every night, and Steve had his own chair. <laughs> no, so one had his own chair. chair. <laughs> no one was sitting in Steve's chair. It was a Peritivo hour, we had like <laughs> six o'clock and started dinner and we were always the last one to, to go to dinner. Sometimes and we didn't go to dinner. <laughs> Sometimes we didn't go to dinner. And then we would go, well, we would always be last to dinner as well. <laughs> but the nice thing about dinner, <laughs> this Peritivo would go on and on. It would go on and on and you'd end up sitting, you'd have like two, we had two tables to 20, didn't we? And you'd either sit on the slow core or the hard core. <laughs> and the hard core was a Peritivo hour. The wine table. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, great fun. But and it was pretty much me, you, Gilbert, Gilbert, Tor, off. and then one other, one guest. <laughs> it was a guest would always it's like a on. special guest every Finney night. would always dip his toe in the water, but then uh, he'd be in and out, bit. he'd be in and out. But he got dipped his toe in. Every night, we had summer nights, we had Mickey Shaw or something. Oh, yeah, Mickey came in. But we were looking through pictures earlier, and I've got a lot of Steve. And we got to this. <laughs> We had yoga every morning. Do you remember when I threw that ball at Baldato's face? <laughs> <laughs> we had yoga every morning. It's like big ball. It's stupid, wasn't it? Probably it just, stupid. We really, had to, we had, because it was Lululemon the sponsor. We had yeah. to do yoga, and I was I was the the least flexible guy in the team. I just couldn't do yoga. So Steve at the back would spend forty five <laughs> minutes like that. <laughs> That's what he did for forty five minutes. <laughs> every day <laughs> and I just find it hilarious <laughs> I was trying I was always trying to do it but I just couldn't okay. so anyway we're chatting away and we're chatting about the old times I Ro Rome wasn't built in a day and then we moved on <clears throat> this is a good year actually then we went to Qatar I won't show that one and Steve was worried about sunburn <laughs> <laughs> yeah but oh and then we did a <clears throat> I don't know why we did this. I think we were just having a laugh, weren't we? Yeah, we took our. I think I just did it because you did it. Yeah. Because I wanted to try and be cool. I think I was trying to be cool as well. We took our lenses out of our sunglasses. <laughs> <laughs> we thought we looked cool. But anyway, and I was in uh, Qatar, which was 
uh, a crosswind race and I was like, whenever the crosswind started, I'd just go in the convoy. <laughs> and then it would all settle down and I'd come back into the last station on. <laughs> Where was, do you remember the team time trial? The team, I was really good. You were really good. You were really rough. <laughs> <laughs> this is what made the race eventually. This is what made the race. We <laughs> started this race, didn't but we? This is a team, you know. This is a team. But this is what we do. Horses for courses. Yeah. I was rubbish. <laughs> you were, you were fighting for the corner. Really strong. <laughs> <laughs> I was strong, but. <laughs> so you had this race, and it was like. So it was windy, wasn't it? Every day it was split to death. Yeah, yeah. You came. Hey, you didn't really enjoy it, did you? I enjoyed the the trip because we were with good people and yeah. we, we laughed a lot but I didn't enjoy the race no. so the race was just like you'd line it it's the only race ever it, basically it's a bunch sprint into a certain corner that, that's but everyone would like line up from the word go wouldn't they from the work from like half an hour before well, we would get on the grid it, it depends on which way the wind was blowing and the always course. wrong <laughs> <laughs> they'd have 15 iPads in the car but they'd always get it wrong <laughs> So you never really know. <laughs> hey guys, it looks like crosswind today. <laughs> you don't fucking know shit. The budget for the iPads was going up and up and up, but they still get the wind wrong. <laughs> so I'd just be like, I'd be like, what? Do what you want. I'm going in the back. <laughs> and then I'd be in the back echelon with the Japanese team. <laughs> come back. I'd always come back. I'd always come back. <laughs> the stupid thing was we were in that race. I remember it because we did the team time trial. His team time to remember what happened. I just remember you were sat in the back going up, oh, left a bit, left a bit, right a bit, right a bit. <laughs> just so we didn't squeeze you onto the road. And then I I, I, I give everything I had to one K to go and you were still there going up. Oh, oh. <laughs> you did top ten on GC and got a new contract. Top ten on GC got a new contract. And I was out of the team. <laughs> we started this. <clears throat> Do you know what shit? I would have I would have won that race if I didn't puncture. Remember I followed Cancellara this day? To be fair, to be fair, this was one of the only shining moments in my career. No no no, <laughs> like seriously, but uh, Yeah, we'll have a chip. I'll join a chip. Yeah. <laughs> no, to be fair. On his day though, when he went, there weren't many people who could follow him. And somehow, I don't know what you did, I think you maybe hooked your braces <laughs> over his saddle or something, I don't know, or you had a, a button. That, but you, you uh, yeah, you were amazing that day. And then it went downhill from there. No, but I think it was just, I don't know, <laughs> the skills, the skills. But they were the good old days. I remember that, we went with the best team. But these are the nice days I remember outside. No, I, I remember as well the team time trial, Sky, they were all warming up on trainers and we didn't have trainers. Oh, yeah, so we were just good. riding up and down doing like little sprints. <laughs> <laughs> and then we won the team time. I need to explain this team time time more. So what happened was, we started, and there was me and Taylor. For, I think I was second at the time. Yeah, second, because I'd had that stage. And Taylor was like four. Both in the Young Riders, both top five GC. And then, no one really said anything like, you hang on, you don't hang on. It was like, just go flat out. I did, grass, yeah. I did one turn and then just sat on the back. It, was, it just went down this corner, round and round about, and back it's like around a tea. this corner. It was like a tea, wasn't it? Oh, it was awful. Yeah, was, yeah, like a tea. So it went down, round, back. I remember, like after one turn, I was like, "No, nah, that's it. I'm sitting on." <laughs> all I could do, up, up, up. <laughs> Hold, yeah. Hold. Not too fast, guys. <laughs> we, got, we won it though. We won. We won. Yeah. I put that in my CV. I do. Ah, uh, it was good, it was good. It's amazing, because in the end we had... Uh, Taylor came second. It was like five, four or five guys in the top ten. Ben Buckwater won the first stage. Who won the overall? Did we win the overall? No, Renshaw won that year. Oh, did he, yeah. Renshaw won. Or Cancellara, one of them guys. Yeah. But you won a Porsche Cayenne. Uh, I'm state. I'm Eventually we're both... A wheel we're over. both... <laughs> We're both stage winners in the Tour of Qatar. <laughs> crosswind, <laughs> crosswind specialists. <laughs> What's this we're drinking? So the first wine we had at mine was Barolo. We've from not the, been drinking all day, by the way. <laughs> from the north. This one is El Sasso, Carmignano. It's right by my house. So where I, I would ride. I probably pass there every day on my bike. This is where I did that capacity effort so behind I, I like to think I've added to this wine in some way. 
Maybe stopping for a pee. <laughs> <laughs> or give it a go. <laughs> or sweating. Uh, and then the, the, the other wine is uh, Ibruciata. It's from like Bulgari region, so down by the down by the seaside. What, Something man? gentle. Man. Where, where, around like where Tirena would start. Well, I think he's got his own Tinkoff, Forte de Mami. I think he's, no, he's more north. So oh, this is a bit more south. But this is a really good, this is, for me, for the price, it's really good wine. Uh, do you know when we did the, the Giro, the tour of Italy? Yeah. I enjoyed it, but I think I prefer this tour of Italy. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what's next. <laughs> ah! What are you doing next year? <laughs> no, I'm serious now. Okay, I... Serious, this is what I'm doing. Okay, I, st I started my degree last year. I'm loving it. It's really good. But and what is your degree? My degree is business and sport management. So the idea of me doing that was because, like, through, through my life in cycling, um, I kind of felt that I met a lot of, there was a lot of people that, that, that weren't super helpful, you know, so they had, they had a lot of experience and um, I felt that they couldn't really transfer that experience and I, I wanted to drag that, draw that experience from them. And for me, I wanted to learn how to sort of use this experience and transfer that experience and to other people, to uh, to whether it be other is riders, it like bike racing and all, like yeah, whether whether bike whether, 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 whether it be other riders or also this like huge life le lessons that you learn through cycling that I think are transferable to business and also other walks in life that um, that are really kind of cool that uh, everyone can draw. draw draw upon and, and, and um, hopefully, uh, I don't know, like like learn something from you know. I think it's, for me what you've done, you explain it briefly when we're on the phone, but all, what you want to do is take what you know, because you are a particular cyclist, <laughs> aren't you? Yeah. And I think in particular is not in a bad way, but you're particular in the way that no one can ever win in a way, we're a little bit similar. In a way that I'm, that we'll win races that you wouldn't expect. In a way that you'd win Tour de France stage, we're like, okay, it's a breakaway day today. But it's those stages where you go, everyone knows it's a breakaway day today. It's those days where you're like, right, everyone knows it's a breakaway day. It's going to be a breakaway. That's almost a waste because the day after, when everyone's tried to get in the breakaway that's when I can really nail them yeah. and it's that's the way we're not similar obviously but in a way that we are clever in to get the most out of ourselves when we need to yeah. and you are like an expert at it in no but you are mate you are you're first like of a, all I wouldn't say I was an expert but all I tried to do was find find a niche a niche in the sport where it's very it's controlled by by like sprinters and GC riders and then outside of that there's a small gap there's a small opportunities for riders who can uh, who can't do who can't sprint or who can't be a GC rider who can win and that was the that was the opportunities I tried to explore so yeah but the thing what well, I think the main thing with you is that it wasn't when you were good and you were on it and you didn't have injuries you didn't have problems it was like Fucking hell! <laughs> but fuck me, Steve. Like it's unreal. It's not like it's like Thomas again. It's like Thomas again is in a breakaway. Some days it doesn't work. Some days it doesn't. He always says the days that you expect to be a breakaway, they're never the ones that I win. It's when you least expect, and it's it's a little bit the same with you. But it's always knows when with you. It's almost it's always spectacular. It's, but it is so, isn't it? It has to be. It always <laughs> is. But it's yeah. always like. No, but, but fucking it, hell! Like, yeah, yeah, how yeah, is yeah, that yeah. possible? Yeah, yeah, but but it, but it has to be that way because you can't if you can't win a sprint and you can't win in the GC, then you have to win on a stage that isn't isn't for either. And normally in the tour, there's around five, let's say five stages, five to seven stages of, of those those kind of opportunities. The annoying thing with you though is, mate, is that I remember speaking at the tour, and after ten days, you're like, I've had a good warm up now, <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> Me ten days in, I'm like, Ooh. yeah. But I knew, like, I knew 
my strengths and I also knew my weaknesses and uh, it's just trying to concentrate my efforts on those strengths and trying to forget the weaknesses because for the first week or the first 10 days I was pretty rubbish but it's because to be honest I didn't really want to be super good because I didn't need to be super good because but is this what you want to implement into this is where I think it's it's good yeah just to target target a niche I think you can transfer these skills I don't think it's only only that I think there's other things like dealing with adversity team culture there's so many so many aspects that you can transfer from lessons we've learned in cycling to business that, that also we've, we've done things well but I've also done things really bad and could have done things differently that are transferable to business and I think um, I think there's uh, people can I don't know take solace or hopefully take uh, like I don't know. Associate themselves with those those feelings, even though it's a different field. They can say, "Oh yeah, you know, one time I was scared to fail in, in the business world, so I didn't try too hard." At, and instead of just saying, "Right, this is what I'm going to do. This is how I'm going to do it." Fuck it. If it all goes wrong, at least I you've had a good go. At yeah. least I died trying to do to do that. Because, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, th- I think that that that, and then also like dealing with adversity is a massive subject. Like in terms of injuries and in terms of how you deal with those injuries and the process that goes on, it's a, I think it's the same in business that people always get rejected or 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 struggle to to get on, and then it's just how you deal with that that rejection and how you deal with it's just about the process because it never normally it never happens so simple and and to me I'm like an average or normal like sort of talent in the world tour and I think people can really associate that with because some of the super talents they just it's it's quite it's like a one two three and it, it's easy but for me it was never really like that and I think there's a lot of people who can associate with that that it's not not so easy yeah, yeah, yeah. it doesn't come easy it comes with a lot of rejection hard work, yeah. it, I'm not I'm not saying I'm not work. it's not hard work because everybody works hard but it's more about no, I know, but the, like you the, say, the, the like process of like always like sometimes it, it's not a, it's not a case of like reaching the top of the mountain. It's like how you react every time you fall, trying to get get further on in the mountain. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sometimes you may you may never reach the top, but it's how you react to every time you fall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. that's what is always important. Moving on, to that, is that like? I don't know, we spoke about when you were stopping, I think you obviously had a mega bad injury at the start, well, the end of this year. Did you want to stop? No, no, I didn't want to stop. Uh, I wanted to continue because I felt like I, like physically, like if you look at the facts, and this is what I always do, look at the facts, and I was still as good as I'd been before. I was still hungry, I was still motivated. Uh, so I didn't want to stop, but um, also I knew that I was 38 years old and it wasn't going to go on forever so maybe it was this year maybe it was the following year or maybe it was the year after and also I'm, I'm very grateful to have I'm privileged to have had 15 years as racing a bike doing my dream and um, I'm not sad but I didn't I, I didn't want to stop no I wanted to continue oh, sorry, mate. <laughs> well you're in a good life now <laughs> It's all right. <laughs> Bradley. When do you come with eat, eat with us? We're trying to do a project. No, 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 no. We're doing a project. We're doing a project. Just, uh, we need... We need... <laughs> we're just doing a project on whiskey tasting in... So what's the project? What is it? Well, we're going to do... We, we don't know what we're going to do. We're going to do a, we're going to do a camp. A, r- a riding camp. We need a driver. As soon as you're not riding, we thought you'd be a good driver. <laughs> <laughs> Are you up for it? Are you up for it? <laughs>